Oh, hi. It's Rob. And a little change of pace. I'm down in the basement again. And this time I've got a pretty big project that I'm trying to take on. It would be this. Yeah, I'm going to try and install a vent-free garage heater down in the basement. Um, this does not need to be vented to the outside. It is efficient enough that it doesn't create carbon monoxide or any um, noxious gases to any extent that is harmful. I am going to, well, I have, you know, a CO2, um, CO2 alarm down here, carbon monoxide alarm and gas alarm. But uh, the basement is unheated and it gets really cold. And when it's in the winter, it makes it almost impossible to do anything down here for any length of time. So I want to try and put this in and heat it heats up to about a thousand square feet. The basement is a little larger than a thousand square feet, so it should be able to take care of at least the parts that I'm working in. And yes, this is going to span several days. Uh, I don't exactly know how long it's going to take, but I do know it's going to take more than just an afternoon. I need to first unpack the box and then figure out all the things that I'm going to need, find a location to mount it, and figure out how I'm going to run the gas line to it. So let's get started. That's the construction manual. I'm guessing that's a mounting bracket. Yeah, probably mounting hardware. And I'm going to put this down on the floor to take it out because it's uncomfortable up here. <clears throat> That is a little difficult to uh, to get out. God, it's like looking into the blackened maw. Um, <clears throat> okay. First thing I notice that there is no glass in here. This is all completely open flame. My, that's uh, that's definitely interesting. Okay. Your own back. Not remove these tags. Lighting instructions. Okay, good enough. about the mounting peg, I think was right. So I just mount it away from the wall.
This will work on propane or natural gas. Thermostat down here. Oh, nice carrying handle. Okay, well, that's uh, that's about it for unpacking. There's not much to it. It's got this unit, mounting bracket, and mounting hardware. I guess now we'll go uh, take some time and look at the instructions. Yeah, I know. Read the manual. On the bottom of this, there are two inlets for gas. This one is for natural gas, and this one is for propane. And I'm using natural gas, so I'm pull that sticker off. And there's a plug installed here that has an Allen, Allen wrench that needs to open it. And I don't have my Allen wrench set down here with me, so I'm going to have to go get that now. That looks like a 3 8 inch. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. I am going to have to check and see if that is a 3 8 nominal pipe thread or if that is a fine pitch. Oh, boy. It's a lovely thing. On the back of this heater, there is this cover that is over a selector valve that will select between natural gas and liquid propane. I want to make sure that this is turned to the natural gas side. You have to push this down and turn it, and then when it gets into the right position, it will pop back up. So we are going, we are set for natural gas. There's so one more piece that I want to do to this heater, and that is to install this auxiliary fan. It goes back here, and I have to remove this metal punch out plate. These are always such fun. Quick plug-in test for the fan, and it just adds a little bit more to the heat generation as it's building up in here. I'm still. Uh, I'm still kind of flummoxed that there is no glass in here. It, it, I took a look and there really isn't a place for it to be. But just the idea that there's an open flame right there, this seems very eh, sketchy for that, to, for that to be. I may end up putting a screen or something behind here to provide a little bit more protection because, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to get something through here, but all right, I'm kind of stuck for the night. Uh, I got to figure out uh, that pipe thread on the bottom of this and then get the parts that I need and then uh, give it a test and then still have to do, find the mounting place for it. 
uh, run the rest of the plumbing to where it's supposed to go and hook it up. So, all right, I'll pick it up next time.